this video I'm going to show you how to modify one of our templates and then import it into DSLR Booth Pro. The keys of this video are the modifications of the PSD file, saving of the assets, and then the re-zipping and then import into DSLR, DSLR Booth Pro. Once you've made a purchase from our website, you'll want to uh, download your purchase. Um, you can do that either by the link provided in the email you'll receive or by logging into our website at photoboothtemplates.com and locating my account there. You'll have all of your downloads available. I've already done so, so I'm going to go to my desktop here and here's the template. The template name is going to be a really long, ugly thing. It's okay, it's just a way that we uniquely identify them. What I want to do is to um, tell Windows to open it in Explorer. I want to tell it to extract all. And then I need to tell it where I want to. I'm going to go ahead and um, name this my modified template, but I would recommend naming it um, something meaningful for the event that you're modifying it for. And we'll go ahead and extract. So now we have a working copy that we can use. I'm going to close the master window. So inside this, we have several files. Depending on if you're using Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, you'll want to either use the template.psd file or the template-elements.psd file. I use Photoshop, so I'm going to open templates.psd. I'm prompted with the uh, message of missing fonts. You know that we've uh, used some uh, custom fonts in the design. So you'll want to go to the readme.html file and then um, open that in your favorite web browser in this case and this will give me a link to the font. For demo purposes I'm not going to install it. What we want to be able to do here is to make a customization and then import it. So the important things I'm going to close up these layer groups. Um, these are not available in Photoshop Elements. In Elements, you want to look at the uh, overlay or the um, sorry, the coordinates layer. Everything above that belongs in the overlay.png file. Everything below that belongs in the background.jpg file. In our case, we're just going to modify the background and um, we're just going to pick a different color. This implements the um, easy adjust uh, color palette, so we can quickly come down here and um, we'll go with Peacock for this. And then um, maybe we'll uh, go ahead and uh, quickly adjust our, our ribbon to blend in a little better. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, save this. It's a new background JPEG. I'm given the option. I always choose 10 as the maximum. And then I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and just save and close. So now I have new files. If I, if you are, you can see that I have my new. What we want to do now is to literally select all the files. And then we're going to um, send to a compressed folder. And we will have a new zip file called overlay.png. I'm not sure why it named it that. But we're just going to go ahead and call that my modified template. And now we're going to open up this our booth. go to branding and then we're going to click the import button we're going to go to the location of our new zip file and we're going to select that zip file and click open and then it will do its magic bring it in and if we uh, follow our terms and delete this layer or we can just hide it for now can see we have gotten our overlay and our background. The reason you're seeing no text in this 
version is because I did not resave the overlay.png file in this case, which would have contained the text. So hopefully this is helpful and um, we'll help you guys quickly move in and out of uh, DSLR Booth Pro.